Hey guys, it's K part two to the OB after traveling, after home projecting or projecting your consciousness. Okay, now what you want to do is this. Depending on who you are and how you are, maybe you can astral travel really good. You've been there, done that. I haven't. I can't astral travel consciously. I have a really hard time consciously astral traveling. I have to set it up in advance and tell myself to astral travel and bring me aware while I'm doing it. Then two days later I'll go. But I gotta set it up first. That's me. Now I learn how to project consciousness or remote viewing. Okay? Now this is how I do it, and this is even more fun than just laying in your bed thinking you're seeing something, because you want to know it's there. So, after you get done, and this is where massaging your toes to your head over and over and over and over, and staying on focus comes into play. Now, after you cracked your ego, you had the big war, and you've done that. Take the next step. Have the big war. You need to have the big war. Look at that as your deadline. Uh, passing the test. When you have your war, kill the monsters. And you're focused and you know that. That's your first test. Second test. You're just learning. Okay? It's not even a test. You're just learning. So you've done that. Meditate. Relax. Best you can. Bring your inner light, your innocence to your head. If you're with Christ, bring Christ consciousness into your head. Christ consciousness is the energy of Christ, okay? It's not religion. Christ is out there, it's all real. But it's not religion, so you're allowed. Everybody in the universe is allowed to bring in Christ consciousness without having to pay the fucking priest on the corner of the church. Alright? All religions are just bullshit. All right, so let's get that out of the way. And you want Christ because you never know what you're going to run into or what's in, already inside of you. Oh, and that's another video. Why don't you watch my videos? Like all of them. For people that have never watched it, hey, watch my videos. You might learn something. That's true from the experience. Anyway, I'm not going to stay on focus here. This is a boat. Okay. You bring your innocence, your spark, your inner light to your head, you relax. Then, <sighs> pick a friend, relative, that you haven't talked to in a while. Okay? Think about it before you go to meditate. Okay? Now, once you meditate, and you're really loose, and you're meditated, and you're really loose. Now, I want you to visualize, and I want you and your soul and your spirit, not just your visual, as best you can, say this and chant it. I will myself to grandma's doorstep, whoever. I'm just using grandma. It was for me, it was for grandma. I will myself to grandma's doorstep and you're, you're going to feel and you chant it over and over I will myself to grandma's doorstep I will myself to grandma's doorstep I will. and as you're relaxed you're going to feel like you're moving Okay, that's your soul going to grandma's house you may not see anything it's okay you're going to feel like a wind going by you you're going to feel yourself and then when it stops if, if that's what it is keep chanting it I will myself Maybe you won't feel much at all, but you will eventually, okay? Now, as best you can, you're at grandma's doorstep. Now, don't make, don't play games in your head. Focus on the door, okay? Now, you're, you're looking at her door. Now, I want you to go down to the ground where her doorstep is. If it's gravel, if it's cement, if it's wood, 
whatever it is that you're standing on in front of grandma's door you know what it looks like you've been there before you know what the whole scene looks like you've been there before reach down I want you to feel the gravel in your mind reach down feel the gravel reach down feel the cement cold hot whatever feel it as you know it okay this is something familiar your brain works with okay and if you can, reach out with your soul and feel it. Now, if you can reach out with your soul, you'll know if your hand's going through the ground, okay? It's like if you, you reach out to the ground, my face is a ground. If you reach out to the ground and you're going through the ground, you're either too high or too low, okay? So, you have to go down or up. So, go up feeling the ground okay and then if it's getting worse go down and feel the ground now if you don't know how to do that don't worry about it if you don't know how to do that that's fine that's okay or you will one day just reach out in your mind and feel the ground feel it as it is as best you can then feel the door all the way up then feel the doorknob. Okay? Now, no preconceived notions of what you're going to see in there, except Grandma. You don't know where she is. You don't know what she's doing. Okay, this is coming from a layman, okay, that don't know anything. Not the people who know this already, who can feel where Grandma is in an instant. Okay? Feel the doorknob. And with nothing in your head, open a door and walk in. What do you see? Okay. Grandma's there or not there? Walk in. She's not there. You walk into the living room. Is she there? Yeah. Okay. What's she doing? She's watering the plants. Okay. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. It's your grandma. But you don't know what she's doing. You just want to go talk to her so she's why well, you see her watering the plants or watching TV or whatever grandmas do and she's doing it don't make it up in your head first thing you see first thing you see and then look at her watering the plants what is she got her clothes on I mean uh, I mean what kind of clothes she got on she got jeans on did she get her house coat on did she got her pajamas on is she all dressed up to go to fancy dinner okay then look look at the TV this is a good one look at the TV what's the first thing you see is it the news CNN is it is it a cooking show what kind of show is she watching is it Oprah S you know shit like that just look at it maybe she's watching she's a sports fan she's watching football I don't know you don't know anything that's going on in Grandma's house. You're just seeing what's going on. Then, you're done that. One person, that's enough. You get done, you got things. Grandma's watering the plant. Grandma's wearing her dress. And she's watching Oprah. Listening to Oprah. Okay? She's cooking on the phone. Whatever the fuck it is. You saw her. Now, you call her up. You come back, reach over, grab the phone. Grandma, hey, what are you doing? Are you watering the plants? Yeah, I just got done. Are you watching Oprah? Yeah, yeah, you watching Oprah too, man? She got blah, blah. Are you, uh, are you, you got your dress on? Yeah. How the hell do you know all this? Three confirmations that you were there and saw, and you projected your consciousness in real time okay you saw events happening at a specific place in real time I guarantee it will work I guarantee it and your fucking jaw will drop now don't think you're the shit you gotta learn this you gotta practice this so I want you to go to your girlfriend's house I want you to go to and don't when you go to someone you love that you're emotionally involved with 
you're going to make shit up. And the first thing you're going to do, if you go to your girlfriend's house or a girl you like, you're going to remote yourself there. She's going to be sitting in her bed reading a book. And you're going to go right to sex. And you want all the sex. Forget it. You might as well just come back and forget it. So don't even bother going to a girlfriend's house. You want your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your cousins. Okay? Your buddies. Don't go to emotionally involved people you love. Where it means something. Because jealousy, fear, sex, 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 love. It's all going to come. And it's all going to flood your brain. And you're going to get a heart on. And you ain't going to be able to fucking do nothing. Okay? Just don't even bother going there. If you want to learn this, stick with neutral people in your lives, more or less. You know what I'm saying? So you go, you do, you, you do it to your grandpa. You do it to your cousins. You do it to your buddies. Okay? And you call them up. As soon as you come back, you get as much information as you can that's specific to what's going on in his world. And you come back. And you call them up, and you fucking call them on it. You say, are you watching this? Are you listening to Slayer? Are you doing this? Are you listening to, are you watching football? Are you watching a hockey game? You know? And it's better if you can get little things that you never thought of. Okay? Then you know you're really good. Then you know you're really good. And remember, each time you chant, I will myself to somebody's house. And you go to the door. If they're not home, where are they? Don't worry about it. You're not going to go there and find out. You're not. I'm not going to go there yet. All right. So let's say you've done that and you've got an A plus on every one of those things. Okay. Now you're really good at that. Now you're going to do something you've never done before. All right. So how are you going to do that? How are you going to know? What, where do you want to go? Where do you want to will yourself? All right, remember the protocols. Innocence, inner light, and the spark. Bring them to your head, and where do you want to go? So, I've never thought this out yet, so I don't know where you want to go. So think of some place you want to go, and you've never been. Okay. Don't pick up a girlfriend or a boyfriend. You don't want to do that. Because I'll get screwed up. You want neutral. Okay, pick a person. Pick a person, a place. No, not a person. No people. Let's, let's say the Eiffel Tower. You've never been to the Eiffel Tower. Why not go to the Eiffel Tower? I will myself... If you can find the Eiffel Tower on Google, look at the base of the Eiffel Tower. Look at the look at a structure on the Eiffel Tower. You know it's there, and you get a scene of what it looks like. Okay. Okay. So you know what's at the Eiffel Tower, what it looks like at the at the base of the tower, like one leg holding up the tower, just four legs. See the one leg. So you want to go will yourself the Eiffel Tower, okay? Now what you're going to see is random, but it's a test. It's, it's a thing for you to do. It's an exercise, okay? So you will yourself. I will myself to the Eiffel Tower. The exact visual thing you saw, the leg there, okay? You will yourself there. You'll see. You feel yourself flying in meditation, okay? You're with grace consciousness. You're in lights in your head. And you're going to start seeing through your spirit now, okay? Okay, and a lot of side effects are going to happen in your mind, in your third eye. Okay, you're going to start seeing colors, pictures, dots, alien faces, evil faces. Ignore it all. That's just fucking garbage. Okay, ignore it. Right now, ignore it. You're focusing on that. Um, you're at the Eiffel Tower. You, you will yourself there. Now, stick your leg out. Run your leg up and down inside of it. This is for you. Just run your leg up inside it. Feel it. Feel the steel. Feel the splinters of paint getting in your skin. Okay? Fuck, that hurt. Fuck, okay? Feel it. Feel it. As real as you can. It's ice cold. There's pigeon shit all over it. 
Okay? Feel it. Stick your hands in the pigeon shit. It ain't gonna kill you. You're a spirit. Feel the ice cold. Feel the fucking concrete. And then, when you're there, reach out and grab onto it. You grab onto the steel. And just have a look around. Just look. Beep beep. Cars going by, everything, everything's going on. Alright? Don't make shit up in your head. Just sit, kids around by. You're like, what the fuck? And just sit there and watch. Shit's gonna come at you. Now, you, this is how you can tell if you're there. Stuff's gonna happen that's out of your makeup. A car's gonna go through you. You're like, what the fuck? Right? A car goes through you, you're gonna go, what the fuck? I never would have thought of that. Okay? Do you understand? That's not in your being. That's not in your fantasy. So you know this ain't fantasy. This is real shit. And what you need is experiences like that. Okay? That's what you need. Experiences. Right out of the blue. Shit happens. For no fucking reason at all. Okay? Then, when you start having experiences where your mind catches it. Like, holy fuck, a car went by and I almost got hit. Or went right through me. Okay? Don't make it up in your head. Just fucking experience it, okay? You're sitting there and experience all of a sudden the pigeon fucking <coughs> sitting there beside you. You're like, what the fuck? A pigeon. Alright? You're seeing pigeons. You're seeing you're seeing. You're projecting your consciousness there. You went there and you're there, okay? Your spirit and your soul are perceiving. Because in time and space, USA, Canada, North America, to Europe. Okay? In reality, you travel in spirit, you close the gap. There's no time and space. You can be anywhere, but what you gotta do is concentrate where you wanna go. That's where the fucking toe exercise come in, which no one likes to do. Okay? You gotta, you focus, and then you will yourself there. And you focus on the steel, because you know the steel's there. You don't know what's gonna happen, it's chaos around you. You're just hanging on a steel and fucking experiencing. Then shit's gonna happen. <clears throat> Kids are gonna run through you. A dog's gonna come up and piss on the fucking steel. You don't know. You don't know. You don't have a fantasy. It just happens. You're like, whoa, whoa, look out, fuck Jesus. When you had when you start doing that to where you are, you're gonna start knowing it's real. Okay? So this is another exercise, and you gotta know it. These are the things you gotta know. But when that happens and you're seeing it and you're there, okay, now let's go somewhere else. You wanna go to somewhere you've never been. You wanna go to the prairies, okay? Now there's a rock formation you've seen on Google, a picture of a rock in the middle of nowhere in the prairies, okay? big rock an erratic rock I will myself to the erratic rock okay you don't know it's somewhere in the prairie you saw it on the internet but what you're doing is you're going to another landmass okay you're going to a landmass that's different from you if you're on the East Coast the land feels different you're going to the Midwest okay to the prairies at a rock and that is your target the rock I will myself. I will myself. You do that, and you go to the rock. <laughs> Feel the fucking rock. Best you can now. Feel the earth. Keep your hands on the rock. <laughs> Scrape your fucking nails. The rock is getting in your nails. It hurts. Okay? That's what you want. Best you can. Feel the rock. The coldness of it. The moss. The lichen. The dirt. Reach down into the dirt. Feel the dirt. Sit down in the dirt. Feel the dirt. Feel the cold, wet on your ass. Whatever. Feel it now. Feel the land. Feel the land. Okay? That land has a different feeling from this land. From the land you're at. Your physical. All land masses and different geological formations and stuff. All land masses have different feelings. 
And the reason I want you to do this is because then you'll know when you go look for missing kids, you can feel the landmass and you'll automatically know where the fucking landmass is. Not by this, not by memory of a feeling, but you'll just know because all the landmasses are different. And you'll know. Once you gotta connect to the earth, once you connect to the earth, all this comes into play, you just know it. Okay. So when you're out looking for a kid that's in Madagascar, you're gonna know, well, I never seen these plants before. I never seen a fucking iguana before. Well, you know, here I am at a beach and a big fucking iguana's running by. And then the kid's getting eaten by an iguana, okay? And where is this? Where is this? Feel the earth. Chant, where is it? Where is it? Tell me, where is this? Where is this? Madagascar! Voice pops in your head, Madagascar. You feel it, Madagascar. She's getting eaten by an iguana in Madagascar. Done! You gotta do all this, you gotta practice it. You gotta know it. And if you have no orientation in your head, you're never gonna do it. So, this is what you do. Now, go to the Arctic. Now, go to South America. Feel the land. And you'll start having dreams about you. You'll start having past life experiences. And I'm going to get into the past lives too, so subscribe to my damn channel and I'll walk you right through your past lives. Because I know about ten of mine, if not more, okay? And I'll tell you how to do it. I'll tell you, because it's unique. No one, every, just, you got to watch, man. So, you practice that, you practice places now. You feel the places. And you want experiences. When you're feeling that rock out in the Midwest and you're feeling the earth. Okay? Don't worry about what's in the earth. You just want to feel the land. Feel what the land is. Feel the land. It'll tell you. You'll experience it. Okay? And it's all part of it. It's all part of it. getting to know yourself and where you are. And if a bird comes and lands on the rock beside you, you're like, holy shit. Fucking bird. <coughs> Awesome, that's what you want. Shit that's unexpected, out of the blue, like you were actually there. The more of that, the better. And if you don't, and all of a sudden you're going to start thinking, well, I ain't doing it right, I ain't, something's going wrong, I ain't doing it right. Well, go back to your friends. Retrain yourself. Go right back to your friends. Remote view to your friends. Do the TV thing again. Do where they are in the house. Okay? Stuff like that. These are the basics, and you're not emotionally involved with a girl, or a boy, or a guy, or whatever. You're not emotionally involved. You're just seeing for the sake of practicing, okay? And just by doing this, you're going to have enough experiences that's going to freak you out. You ain't even going to want to go to Mars yet. Go to Area 51 and deal with all that. It's a whole other fucking level of shit. And everybody wants to go to the moon, Mars, and Saturn rings, and outer space in the middle of nowhere, and the sun... Man, you gotta get down to the basics first. And if you're with Christ, you're a lot better off. Bring in Christ consciousness and ask Christ to be there for you to back you up. Let them know if you're in contact with Christ. You just say, Look, I'm going to the fucking rings of Saturn. Back me up. Don't interfere. Don't 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 interfere with me. Just back me up. I'm, you're allowed to explore. All right. You're allowed to explore in innocence, and if you're with innocent, with your, if you're in innocence and the inner light, and Christ, nothing's gonna touch you, because every fucking bad thing knows. Do not fuck with innocence, or the inner light. It's universal law with all entities throughout the universe. You fuck with it, and you sacrifice yourself. You de-evolve back down in the shit. So no one fucks with innocence. Nobody. And they all know it. And the demons fucking know it. And the archons know it. And everybody fucking knows it. Except you. You wouldn't be watching this damn video. Alright. But on a spirit level. Spirit to spirit level. You may not know it up here. But your spirit does. And the more you bring it to your head. And listen to it. And let it guide you. You're going to know it. Real fucking quick. Because he'll fucking give you experiences. Okay. There's a lot to this. I can make 15, 20 more branch videos just from this one topic. And I should. I might as well. Why not? I got nothing else better to do. But anyway, okay. So that's what you want to do. Go to places. 
that you've never been. Keep practicing that. Then feel the land. Feel the city. Paris. Feel what it's like. Feel the city. You'll feel it. But remember, put your earplugs in. Stay there. One little noise will bring you back. If your kid comes in the house, Mom, where's my sandwich? Fuck, you're going to be right back and pissed off. So make sure you've got a good couple of hours for yourself. All the time. Without no noise. Alright. That's important. So uh, I'm going to get these two up. And I'll make more branch videos. And we'll go to the next step.